Oh, something's not right here. Hold on. It says desktop audio nada. Amazing. Okay, perfecto. Hi, Clay. All right, we're doing monster prom today. We're gonna get some bitches. I love bitches. Me too. <laughs> All right, and then if my mouse is a little janky, it's because I need to get a USB port thing. Because I have a stream deck where I can do stuff like this now. I think that showed up on stream. Cool. Um, I don't think Sleepy. Would... <laughs> I don't know if you're able to hear it. <laughs> no, I have the tab muted, so I have no idea what just happened, but I'm sure it was fantastic. Thank you. It was the trombone. <laughs> yeah, the. Yeah, so it's fun stuff, fun stuff. <laughs> Two players. So we can do first term, which is classic, or second term, which has the DLC, but I don't know why we would do classic when we have DLC, if I'm being honest. If we got DLC, let's do the DLC! Fuck yeah! Okay. Spooky high school, the sweetest years of our lives. I'm so ready. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We I were... was terrified in high school, what do you mean? No, literally! <laughs> And they don't, in high school, they do not teach you some of the life skills that you need. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Okay. And so, I'm gonna go ahead with this chick. I just feel like it captures my energy pretty well. Let's go. And then... Oh, oh no. Uh, uh, I wanna be... <laughs> Oh no, this is hard. They're all so cute. Uh, right? I I figured you would like the one on the very left. Cuz it it's like I, I was I had my eye on the green guy and then The I was green like, guy. I was like, "Wait a minute. That is that is that little ghost boy is kind of cute." <laughs> I'm gonna be I want to be the little ghost boy. Little ghost oh, boy. He's got a little guy on his shoulder. Yeah, so cute. I uh, little guy on his shoulder. Oh my days. And I'm just gonna have you be sleepy, is that chill? Or is that too boring? That's, that's fine, I'll be sleepy. And what pronouns would you like? Just to go with he, let's go with he. He's a little, he's a little baby man, I love little him. Little baby man, perfecto. Oh, right. man. Look at him. We had yet, and we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. Oh, I'm so scared for Monster Prom. <laughs> He's so scary. <laughs> I remember it clearly. <laughs> Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most characteristic character what? Excuse me, charismatic classmates. We have Scott Howe, 21, <laughs> a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly large heart, huge heart. Morant. Miranda Vanderbilt, a sweet mermaid princess who is as cute as she is genocidal. genocidal excuse me. Polygeist, 22? A party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Damien LeVay, 21. A fearless demon with a taste of destruction for destruction and a love of fire. He's so dreamy. Right? Liam <laughs> DeLioncourt, 400. Yeah, okay. Don't grow at me. The fourth. <laughs> the f oh, the fourth, yes. It's for vamp a hipster vampire whose standoff demeanor hit the fact that he was a truly lovable dork. Where's the lovable part? <laughs> Zoe. Forever? An eldritch cutie who went from endless deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. <laughs> Calculester Hewlett Packard, version 1.0. A library computer who had become sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. And Vera Oberlin, 23. <laughs> a mean, self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. It was clear. It had to be one of them. But who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date. And even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But, as I already said, we were young and unafraid. And we were ready to start. And then, do you want to read the magazine? Like, do the annoying little... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome! 
Welcome to Monster Prom Student Pop... <laughs> stupidest pop quiz ever. <laughs> oh, is this still the fucking... <laughs> All minds are rotten, but they're rotten in so many different ways. <laughs> Worry no more. We're all using our PhD in bullshit to diagnose which kind of deviant sicko you are. Monster prom stupidest pop quiz ever, trademark, will throw a bunch of absurd questions at you and turn your answers into your character's stats. Wow. <laughs> this way, each of you will start by having stats that better reflect your true selves. Amazing. Wow! Let's start! Oh god. A radioactive possum just bit you. What superpower did you get? The superpower of always choosing the right combination of emojis to get the desired reaction from people, seducing my loved ones, burning my enemies, settling any argument, and even conveying complex emotional thoughts. Or, the incredible power of writing fan fiction so compelling that the actual creators of the TV shows go decide to go with my ideas and crazy ships. Or, probably rabies, I'd like to go to a hospital immediately. Um. <laughs> I want the middle one. I knew you would. I'm so creative. Wow. How would you talk to a cop out of arresting you? Use your seductions, seduction skills, wink. They don't call it fuck the police for nothing. Oh, Use, fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Use your acting skills. Convince the officer you're actually the police. You know what? Go for the overkill and make them pay you a fine. Use your gaming skills. Everyone knows that a police officer has to drop any charges on you if you manage to beat them in a fail, fair Yu-Gi-Oh card duel. Yo! <laughs> so charming. <laughs> so creative. What would be the most appealing in a love partner? Sharp wits? Soft fur? Tentacles? Very sundere personality? A big... horn. 50 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> I, I chose the boring one. I should have made the tentacles. I'm an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, okay it's a toss-up honestly between soft fur and a big uh you know horn because I, I like horns what can i say mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> soft fur for cuddling big horn impressive i want big horns let's go all right <laughs> I, I'm Ooh. Oh shit! Yes! Yes! Fuck. yes. I got Liam! <laughs> I love him! <laughs> Liam the fucking... Okay. What would be a killer accessory? A fabulous purse made from the skin of your worst enemy. Sunglasses. At night. Long oh, <laughs> Logitech G560. The best RGB gaming speakers. Sailor Moon's magic wand. Shiny armor. A necklace with your own name, in case you forget. <laughs> I want sunglasses at night. <laughs> I also want sunglasses at night. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Sick. Amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I definitely feel like I need more fun god you're so smart what the fuck <laughs> yeah i'm so smart but i'm not bold fun or i'm not bold or fun <laughs> neither am i <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> that day during recess you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy you have no idea how it escalates so much but at one point there are like 300 people someone summons a demons from the nightmare dimension the consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself but who cares it's a rad party you're getting too fun. Ew. Later that night, you head out to the club with Polly and Liam. Using your fake IDs, also known as Polly's boobs, you have no problems getting through the door. The real trouble begins when you get to the bar, and Polly starts teasing Liam. Hey. Okay. We're at a crossroads here, Sleepy. Which one would you like to voice? 
can I be the ghost? <laughs> yeah, go for it. Oh my god, okay. <clears throat> I'm telling you, boy. <laughs> You've got no game. And I'm telling you that I reject the ludic sexual par 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 paradigm underlying your assertion. Assertion? Yeah. All I'm saying is if you... <laughs> That's so funny. All I'm saying is that if you're really as cool as you act all the time, hmm. you should have no problem getting digits from that mm, gender intermediate locust swarm down the end of the bar. Well, of course I could, if I wanted to. But, you see, the key to my allure is that I don't want anything. Sounds to you like Liam's just scared. You decide to go over there and show them both how it's done by coating yourself in insect pheromones. Don't go after people, make people go after you. Or dancing so hard you separate into a cloud of locusts. I think. Mean, you want to okay. be a cloud of locusts? I guess so. <laughs> okay. You dance until your body is a swarm of locusts. There's no, that, this is no problem for you. The hot young locust swarm at the end of the bar is impressed, and so is Polly. See, Liam? All you gotta do is dance until it physically alters the composition of your body. But I can only turn into bats. Or, rather, bat. One bat. Not even a swarm. Oh, what a beauty. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's alright, dude. We can't all be totally flippin' awesome. While Polly comforts Liam, you manage to secure a party for afterwards <laughs> at the Locust Swarm House. Even a couple of rich mummies from out of town join. At school the next day, everyone at school. At school the next day, everyone at school is talking about how you can apparently turn into bugs. Awesome. You gain two fun and one charm. All right. Oh my god, his voice. That was so cute. <laughs> I would right. like to be more bold. I don't know how to do that. More, bold. more bold. Perfect. We go to the bathrooms for bold. <laughs> look at me. <laughs> oh, look at you. Then you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. <laughs> I guess some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> They're skipping class and hanging out in the bathrooms. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you give full zero shits but gain two boldness. Let's go. Look at me. I'm so cute. <laughs> Suddenly a chill runs through you as if the very fabric of reality is in danger. Uh-oh. Scanning your surroundings, you quickly discover the reason for your feeling. Polly and Damien are together, and they're bored! Oh. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, this means you get to place my love interest. That's hilarious. Damien? Damien? Damien! <laughs> what?! I must have fallen asleep for this- for a second, because nothing's on fire. I know, right? Nothing crazy has happened in at least 47 minutes, and I am dead. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally actually dead, but... Also, I'm dead because of how bored I am! What if we just... <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm so bored, I can't even think of something to do to not be bored! <laughs> I... I relate to that so hard, dude. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> No, please help us, somebody cause a sexy problem. <laughs> Break the seven seals and release the Kralak Thul, the world fucker. Send in the party goblins. Now, party goblins sound fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Break the seven seals. Release <laughs> Carlac Thule, the world fucker. That could mean so many different things. Mm hmm Is that a sexy problem? Would you consider that a sexy problem? I would consider a sexy problem. I would not consider the party goblins a sexy problem. Although I'm You're not right, a... let's break the seven seals and release the world fucker. Let's go! So smart! <laughs> Using an accursed sword someone has stupid enough to give you, you shatter the ward separating the world fucker from our world. <laughs> Amazing. He emerges into the mortal plane with a nose like a million throws. 
Peace. A noise. Noise. I said, I read nose. I was so confused. <laughs> like a million throats being slid at once. Withered in bloody vapor. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> These are the end times of the ancient poets for lonely prophecy. <laughs> Prof. Yep. Yep. This realm will not. Will not rot. Yeah. This realm will <laughs> rot. The maggot for the corpse it is. Amazing. I am dyslexic today. That All is right. totally okay. Oh, sick! It's a world <laughs> fucker! Come to fuck the world! Yes! Yes! Uh, hey, world fucker! You wanna party? <laughs> Carlick Thal squeals with a voice like a snake eating itself. He says, Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Oh! Uh, we all head off to party all night, leaving a trail of flaming wreckage in your wake. The world is doomed, but at least it's not boring. You gain two fun and one boldness. No Amazing. Two birds, one stone. Absolutely. <laughs> I am the coolest little ghost man ever. Ooh, okay. We choose an occupation. Say your choice out loud before the rest of the to the rest of the players before clicking. Um, candlestick maker. Uh. Can't think of anything. Professional chef. <laughs> Professional chef. Player order is decided based on how boring a VR simulator would be based on selected occupation. Wait, there are there are VR games with both of these things. There are? I know the cooking yes. one. So should we do random? Honestly, yeah, because like the candlestick one is fun as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing! Apparently cooking's boring. <laughs> Alright. All right. It's noon, what am I doing? Oh. We're at lunch. Oh. Oh. Oh god. I wanna hit zero with Damien because I like him. But there's so many people at that table. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Let's go. I can fuck this up so easily. Oh. You've just sat down with Damien and Liam. Oh no. Okay. Well, to eat with Damien. Liam's taking pictures of his food! <laughs> when the leather-clad figure who drops from the air... ...event onto your table, it's the Slayer, oh no! Prepare to die! <laughs> well... Lunchtime is over, dirtbags! Time to die! This always happens when we sit together. Your death-based rhetoric is offensive! Don't spoil my food pick! Oh, I'll spoil more than your food pick. Count... <laughs> Count Stankula, I'm about to spoil your face. Just his though, right? Both your faces. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> the slayer is right between the three of you. You can't save Liam and Damien, but if you act fast, you might be able to save one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment my <laughs> whole life. I'm gonna flip the table for justice. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Normally when you flip tables it's out of anger or mischief, but this time it's about the most righteous table flip ever performed. <laughs> <laughs> no! My footing! <laughs> no! My artfully ar arranged cafeteria food! Yes! Fucking not school property! <laughs> <laughs> the slayer ends up pinned under the table along with Liam. Fabian jumps down there and starts punching indiscriminately, not caring who he is. Good for him, oh. dude. <laughs> so, you know, just another normal day for Damien. Oh, absolutely. Well, I've never felt so alive. alive. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like that big like manic grin just does mm -hmm. it for me. I don't I don't know. Valid. <laughs> Offensive. Whatever! Let's flip all the rest of the tables in the cafeteria while flip while the flipping's good! That was a little scramble. You righteously flip every single table in the cafeteria. With each table you flip, you find Damien is flipping a little more. For you! <gasps> oh, let's go! Damien! <laughs> okay. I think I'm gonna aim to go. Hmm. For Miranda. As you approach Scott and Miranda's table, you see that the entire table is covered in exotic silverware. Okay, which one's sleepy? Go for it. 
Scott or Miranda? Is, is he is he is he a werewolf? Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one for? <laughs> That's the forking spoon. It's a spoon for picking up your forks so you don't have to touch them with your fingers. Mm. And uh that one? That's the t tuning fork. It's for making sure all your other silverware is tuned into a minor into sorry tune to a minor <laughs> as is proper what about this one that's the dairy knife it's for milk wow <laughs> i'm going for like a wolf help but i can't do it my voice is too fucked up no you're good oh wow <laughs> <laughs> did people ever invent new silverwares all the time but none of them are any good it would take a genius of true subtlety to improve on the existing canon. A genius of true subtlety. Genius and subtlety are your middle fucking names. You suggest the ultimate new silverware. Salad harp or hands? Salad harp. Hands! <laughs> hands! A harp? For salad? Why has no one thought of this before? Because it's hard to eat salad with a harp? Cretin, who said anything about eating? Isn't that what silverware's are silverware's for? Perish the thought. The true purpose of silverware is to give your hand something to do while you elegantly avoid your food. And oh nothing God, is more me. <laughs> And nothing is more elegant than playing a subtle lament. Yep, on a harp while you, your serfs eat your salad for you. My serves will finish my lunch for me. I'm off to have a harp commissioned. Commissioned. Miranda takes you harp shopping with her. It's a real bonding experience. Afterwards, you both ignore salad together at a fancy restaurant. Oh. Player orders decided on how early you would die during. I would die. Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not it's even. True. I don't. It's true. Yeah, I don't even want to deal with that shit, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I need more bold. <laughs> it's not even a question. It's just like if a zombie apocalypse happens, I'm dying immediately. That day, no, literally. <laughs> yeah, that day you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no, author no authority. But you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of the for the rest of eternity. So you do some gra graffiti on the wall. No way. The graffiti says I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical. The wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall. A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, "Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold." And then you gain two boldness. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. Without meaning to, you find yourself in conversation with Polly and Miranda. Oh, <laughs> comparing the apps on your phones. Uh, uh, what you got, Mira? Miri? Miri? What you got? Well, I have this game, Misunderstanding of Mobs. I'm not entirely sure how to play, but I keep winning, so that's nice. <laughs> I've also got Scepter, <laughs> which is like Uber, but for surfs instead of cars. And Spooner, which is like a dating app, but for silverware. You know, I like my apps elegant and majestic. That's pretty cool. But you, what does that say? Rap chat. Okay. Okay. Do you have rap chat? It turns all your messages into raps, but you can only see them for eight seconds. <laughs> wow. What about you, Octo? What fun apps do you have? Yeah, impressive with something rad. Tiger, an app that make, can make tigers appear anywhere. There's nothing as majestic as a tiger. Not much. Just this one app that turns my phone into a rad car. Okay, this one would appease her, but... Oh, yes! Yes! So charming. Oh my, my head is swimming with the myriad of uses of such an app. Our royal zoo has been tigerless ever since the tigers drowned in their other underwater cages, which was immediately... We have been looking. For, <laughs> we have been looking for a way to replenish our supply ever since. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you know what I say? It's not a real party until there are tigers literally everywhere. Is that so? How many real parties have you been to, then, Polly? None. Yet. 
Miranda purchases the app and a bunch of raw meat while ordering new cages for her family zoo. Polly asks her if she can borrow a tiger or two for her next party. What could go wrong? You gain two fun and a charm. One charm. Um, I feel like... I feel like I want to be more fun. More I fun. Be more fun. Okay. Yeah, I need some more fun. My stats are all like very like. Oh my god, look at me busting a move. Busting a move. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. Amazing. Yeah. You're casually chatting to Juan, the small magical Latino cat, and you start telling him that hilarious story of what happened last summer at Monster Cab. <laughs> You know which one. Mm -hmm. The one involving the beehive, the blow-up doll for the, of the president, the penguin mask, and the, myst <laughs> the mystery of the Goblin King. Slowly all the people start joining you to hear the story, but by the time you say where the Goblin King was, 100 people or so burst into hysterical laughter. You know what? I would be talking to Juan, the magical Latino cat. Absolutely. You turn on your own mobile app that catches all the laughter and turns into plus two fun. Let's Amazing. go. Amazing. I'm so fun. Uh, you're doing your thing when a wild demon simply appears. I got so excited that I said <clears throat> Hey, that's you. Sorry. Oh, you're good. Hey, you. You look like you have nothing better to do. It's I, true. <laughs> I need him out for the prom. Because walking's for losers. And also because I lost my driver's license after I drove my motorcycle through another Sunday school picnic. But I won't take any lame-ass mount. I need the best creature in hell. So, let's brainstorm. If you don't answer the next ten seconds, I'm putting a bit in your mouth and riding you. Oh, 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 okay, Damien. Oh. Um, we're talking hell, so a goat. Not just any goat, a goat with a, a, goat that's a real <laughs> asshole. Giant gelatinous... Fifty nose creature at your house that's been filed and eats corpses. This shouldn't be hard. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's a goat. A <laughs> goat that's a real. That's an asshole. asshole. And like this, it's like two super different things, but that you could want for what it, like whatever reason, you know. Apples and oranges. My, my head says giant gelatinous fifty nose creature, but my my heart says the asshole goat. We're going with the asshole goat. Asshole goat, so fun. You mean like Judas the goat, <laughs> the sociopathic <laughs> murder goat who lured all those other goats into his sniper fire? In the Galapagos <laughs> Islands. <laughs> oh yeah, he's definitely the worst. He's, he's the worst <laughs> creature now. <laughs> so sickening. <laughs> As if that fucking worked. Fuck. I'm going to gallop into prom on a Capron bastard like the spawn of hell that I am. <laughs> Judas the goat is real. Research the war on goats and prepare to be disturbed. He gave two smarts and one boldness. Fucking amazing. What the fuck? That was too good. Oh! Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. On Saturday night, you're at a cool pizza place that cooks pizza in real pizza oven. Little did you expect when little did you expect that when the chef opens the oven to get your pizza, Damien appears from the flames. How does that work? Can he teleport through fire? Has he been waiting inside the oven all this time just to make a kick-ass entrance? Ah, oh, the mystery. Sorry, I was just opening the door for Damien. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, he's there. My dude! I fucking hate needing people's help, but I might need yours. Don't let it get to your head or I'll stab you so I don't have to owe you anything. Enough threats, here's the deal, fuckhead. I may- <laughs> I might or may not feel attracted by your buddy Sleepy. 
You know the one. Always making absurd choices, being equal parts stupidly sexy and sexily stupid, and with a nice booty. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to get my feelings hurt by rushing into love without proper judgment. My dads always say, if you love someone, shoot them and see what happens. <laughs> Great father and late vice, right? Thing is, Principal Giant Spider, my therapist, and the rule of law all seem to think that shooting someone to check if they're the one is not entirely legal. They have strongly recommended that I do all that on what they call a theoretical level, like imagining the whole thing. But imagining's for losers, and since you, since you both know Sleepy and are a loser yourself, I ch okay, fuck you. <laughs> I thought you could tell me, what would Sleepy do if I were to shoot him? <laughs> Sleepy's all about getting shot. He goes to the doctor every other day just to get a shot, and shots are the only thing he does when partying, so I think you can give him a shot. Or, pff, believe it or not, if you were to shoot Sleepy, he would not be into it. True story. No. Shots all day, every day. I got you. <laughs> Whoa. That's convenient. I really hope he doesn't fucking shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you get shot, sorry. I have the feeling dating me could increase someone's chances of getting shot. Or stabbed. You don't get to be as big as an asshole as me without making some enemies along the way. I would feel bad if my loved one was to get shot because of me. But knowing Sleepy is into getting shot is relief. I fucking hate guilt. Okay, oh it seems like my heart isn't being a drunk idiot this time. I might be onto something. Nice. <laughs> and who knows? If he's so into getting shot, I might add some spice in my fore foreplay, if you know what I mean. Oh, <laughs> okay, I mean, shooting Sleepy before having sex with him. Just to be clear. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Wowie. <laughs> You're welcome, Sleepy. Both for you getting some demon dick and for the blood loss you're about to experience. You had too much blood anyway. Ricky needs the blood is lube. It's fine, demon. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's water-based. It's water-based. <laughs> you get three charm for being such a good friend. Fuck yeah, dude. All right. <laughs> Everyone chooses a historical figure. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh. Fuck. <laughs> I can't. Tesla. Uh, Walt Disney. I I I he's pretty historic. He's old. Yeah, he's a historical figure. Picture this: five years ago, this historical figure time traveled to our times, and they now live in the present time. Player order is decided based on how likely you would buy a gossip magazine that contains hot info on how the historical figure is now in a relationship with Leonardo DiCaprio. Tesla was gay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's more likely. <laughs> that's like more like likely. Would you buy it? How likely I would buy? Yeah. I would be more interested in Nikola Tesla being in a relationship with DiCaprio than I would be with Walt Disney. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I mean, that Damien voice is like... <coughs> <laughs> yeah, no, fucking doing these voices is killing me, but it's great. Je oh, look at me, I'm so cute. Uh, look at those sevens across the board. Let's go. Woo! Uh, what do I need? He likes he likes fun. Mm -hmm. I feel like I should have some more fun. Okay. Some more fun. Let's do some more fun. Give me your oh! Money. It's money. Oh. It's, it's the shop. But we can ex exit the shop, or if you want to take a look, you can. Let's take a look. Fuck it, I got five monies. All right. So you have a sexy Latin accent. Why? The hottest thing is being yourself, honey. But but a Latin accent is a close second, to be honest. And then we have two poor for this. A motivational poster. Crafting art requires years of hard work. Education from great mentors and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? And yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. <laughs> I know the corpse. Yeah. <laughs> It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. The snake? Fake badass tattoo. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then murder them too. And go to some kind of super prison? Street, street cred plus 9,000. I feel like I could use a fake badass tattoo. Fake no. badass tattoo? No Alright. And remember the first rule of the shop club. No refunds. Amazing. Let's go. I have a fake badass tattoo. This is amazing. 
Um, I can't wait to see what terrible things happen to me. I feel like I should get more money if I'm going for Miranda. Because she's royalty. That day, you spend some time on the library's PCs manage, managing your star kicker. You deceive lots of people with sensationalist video and impossible promises. Nice. You gain a thousand... Hundred thousand money, but almost everything goes to cover the cost and you keep only two. Oh. That's a bummer. I mean... Yeah. Later, you, Vera, and Miranda meet to prepare your case for the Ruthless Rhetoric class. Your scenario oh God, for the I'm week... So the monsters finally rule the world, but puny humans still demand equal rights. How will you deal with such audacity? 14-hour <laughs> workday, media, censorship, start a fictional war. <laughs> That sounds like so much work. Can we just throw money at them? Oh, or cake. I heard if you let them eat cake, they calm down. What about you? Do you have any ideas? You're not one of those group members who just lets everyone else do the work, are you? Just remember the three R's. Relocation, re-education, and reintegration. Or the problem is they're not Jesus happy. Christ. So let's repress them into happiness. Miranda will like that. <gasps> Oh no. Happy humans? Why? Why, 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 why? 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 Uh, not again. You broke Miranda. Fuck. We've been all over this. Never mentioned satisfied peasants to her. I'm sorry, Vera. I'll have to carry this team. Again, strip. You'll be the blood sacrifice. Okay. Vera uses your blood to bargain with the demon for debate win. You lose two creativity and one boldness. Your dignity and possibly your soul. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Everybody chooses an animal. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Tiger! Uh, axolotl. Player orders decided based on how hilarious it would be if Sleepy died after being attacked by eight of the selected animals. Start debating. Uh, probably axolotl. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like tiger. It wouldn't be funny. It wouldn't be funny if I got molded up by eight tigers. Oh no, that'd be sad. <laughs> Let's go. Jesus Christ. Miranda. Like, how would I even end up in that situation? Right? Pineapple pizza. Nice. Is that a fucking emoji? <laughs> Sends me. <I> fucking cannot. <laughs> you waltz over to Miranda and Scott's table to find them peering suspiciously into a burger. Secret sauce. Secret sauce. What shred mysteries do you conceal? Awesome, bro. <laughs> Whoa! Do you think the secret sauce can talk? Cool! Hey, secret sauce! What are you made of? No, Scott! My question was rhetorical. Awesome! Mine was loud! <laughs> Oh, it's no use. We'll never discern the active ingredient of this delicious secret sauce. Unless you have an idea, Octo. What are your father's enemies, Miranda? Why, that's so delicious. That's why it's so delicious. You ever think of this, Scott? Scott, this sauce is made of secrets. It's blood of your enemies. Blood of the air people? I didn't know the high school cafeteria cared about my family's ancient rivalry. And everyone knows the air people believe candy syrup and barbecue sauce. I should have known. You know, I don't normally eat food myself. I have serves for that, but I might Holy have shit. to make an exception. Holy <laughs> shit. Fuck, dude. Aw, uh, more blood? I eat blood all the time, like pretty much every full moon. Aw. Scott's a little disappointed, but you don't care. You're busy sharing a saucy burger with Miranda. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. You know where I want to sit. I want to sit with the fucking cool kids. Fuck yeah. Listen, Sleepy, you can totally sit with us. I just hope you didn't bring a gun to the bazooka fight. <laughs> yeah, we're showing off our best blast. Well, not the best blast exactly, but the best content. Oh, shit. Good God. Are literal actual flasks of alcohol openly allowed in the school cafeteria? Are there no rules? They're all adults, to be fair. <laughs> to be fair. Apparently not, because Polly starts setting a series of flasks down on the table. Okay, so this one's beer. <laughs> My WC wine, whiskey, ethyl alcohol, and the souls of an infant. Amazing. Ha! <laughs> Weak. 
never mind. This is radioactive absinthe. This is fire. And this is literal poor life choices. Okay, but this one has another small flask inside. It is the ultimate flask. <laughs> they could probably go like this for goddamn ever. <laughs> for goddamn ever. <laughs> Maybe you can cut in with the craziest thing of all. Oh god. So think carefully about whom you want to impress with your flask contents. Okay. Okay, okay. 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 What do I have? What do I have? You're ready for the most hardcore badass thing? This flask contains an ancient genie that grants you three wishes, but I'm totally drinking it because I don't give a fuck. Grant my own damn wishes. <laughs> 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 you wanna do get a dope party started? This flask is ultra whiskey. Which you can only get when you put two bottles of the best Prior's whiskey and make them mate. <laughs> I want to drink the genie. Yes. Yup, you're right. Hardcore. So hardcore. You could ask for anything. Wealth, power, immortality. A free pass for teachers to ignore bad behavior forever and let you do whatever the fuck you want without suspension. But instead, you're just going to drink the genie? It's like you're drunk from my poor life. Choices flask. And I love it. I didn't even know you could drink a genie. You and Jamie and Pop open the flask and drink the genie together. Oh, <laughs> cute! This is definitely just water, but Damien seems to drink so much alcohol and energy drinks that he literally forgotten what water tastes like. <laughs> My man! <laughs> Normally you'd say that couldn't possibly be healthy, but fuck it. He's a demon from hell. He can probably do whatever. What a glorious bonding experience! Amazing. All right, everyone chooses a video game. So your choice out loud with the rest of the place for clicking. Ah, uh, Last of Us. Minecraft. Minecraft. Third is decided based on how much time you could remain alive, provided you were still you were transported to the game's universe. I feel like I could stay alive longer in Minecraft. Yeah, definitely. Bam, bam. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> um, I have no money. How do I get some money? There we go. Oh, sorry. That you <laughs> spend some time on the library's PCs, sending malicious spam e emails in the hope of stealing other people's money. Hey there, kitty pie. Mm -hmm. I found this pro. I found your pro. Let's chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Plus M3. <laughs> it doesn't sound very nice, but who's really the one to blame if they're responding to such a blatant scam? True. You lose Sin Karma, which isn't a set in the game, so who cares if you gave your money? Yay, I'm not broken. You're fucking around on your cell phone when you see a couple of your classmates fucking around on their cell phones too, but louder with more aggravation. <laughs> 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 Perfect. Paulina, this is an institution of learning, and I'm finding it increasingly difficult to concentrate with you making tigers appear everywhere constantly. They'll soon overrun the school. I find it simply abhorrent the amount of money that you're funneling into tiger when an app advertises itself as free but then gets you addicted and causes you to, and causes you to end up paying more and more money. Nine, minus 99 monies at a time. That's just... Awesome. Exploitative of the weak willed. And I love exploiting the weak willed. But I prefer when you do it with me. What's so special about Tiger anyway? That you're blowing all of your money on it rather than investing in our schemes. Um, where to begin? The premium features are dope. Sorry, I was. Ah! Gotta let Damien out, it's fine. Yeah, gotta let Damien out. <laughs> you can design the stripes on your tiger, pick custom colors, pick whisker size and strength. Wait, that's cool, actually. That is cool. You can find out whether or not the tiger has super liked your profile. <laughs> and that, <laughs> and what pictures it's favorited. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I necessarily want to date a literal, actual tiger. I just want to know if the literal actual tigers want to date me as they should as they should yes 
You must realize how insane that sounds. I mean, hearing about it out loud, it did sound pretty whack, I guess. Plus, if the tigers get hungry and start eating people, and honestly, it's shocking they haven't done that already, we won't have anyone to rip off. Right, because the tigers will be ripping off their arms and legs. Good points. I'll just delete the app and get rid of the tigers. There, deleted. And yet there, tigers here, tigers everywhere, tigers! <laughs> huh, I wonder why that didn't work. Maybe because getting rid of a downloadable content on a phone no way destroys the real flesh and blood beings in the real world. <laughs> But you know what might actually work? Uh, Forever Tiger in the school. Release three anteaters. The natural enemy of tigers everyone knows. <laughs> Have a coach talk to them. He's a tiger, right? Or like tiger adjacent something. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this me? Oh, yeah. Okay, um. Uh. Uh. Teachers are lame. Let's release anteaters. So smart. Ah, oh, brilliant solution. I have been having an anteater supplier that brings me fresh anteater eggs. One of the finer and more obscure del delicacies of the world. I'm sure you can bring some by the school. <laughs> and you're sure that anteaters don't lay eggs? <laughs> and someone has been explaining Liam, but since it's benefiting you in this case, you might as well let it slide. <laughs> Before long, Liam's anteater egg dealer is showing up with <laughs> veritable? Yeah. Whatever. Army of anteaters. The anteaters go through every corridor and corner of the school, driving out the tigers wherever they may hide, with their long tongues, poor eyesight, and penchant for eating termites. <laughs> All of which tigers hate! <laughs> Duh. Don't you know anything about tigers? <laughs> <laughs> the anteaters are also generally useful around the school, eating all the insects that Crazy Martin, the, the werebear janitor, doesn't have time to get rid of since he's always so busy dealing with your fucking antics that he's <laughs> left with very little time to actually perform maintenance on the school. <laughs> Damn! Uh, these anteaters are awesome! You go, girl! Get those insects, clean those cobwebs, chase those tigers! You know, Polly, Enough people have downloaded Tiger that I bet, as the fad dies, there's going to be a lot of people looking to get rid of the app and their tigers. I think I know where you're going with this. Sorry. Good. We should re-download Tiger and start a second round of the app's popularity! Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Polly, no! This is what we should be spending our money on. We need to make our own tiger-style app, which allows you to rent anteaters to get rid of the ants, termites, or tigers that might have, <laughs> might have, oh, sorry, that you might have lying around. Hell yeah, that's way better than my idea. We can get, <laughs> we can call it yanteater? Yint yint here? Yint And remember to advertise that their eggs are also rare, rare and delicious. <laughs> uh, uh, sure, Liam. Whatever. The tigers are gone. Everyone liked your solution. You gained too fun. Yes, too fun <laughs> from watching the predators flee from the insectivores, and you get plus one money since Polly and Vera bought the yin 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 I need more boldness for sure. Oh, damn it. Money. Hmm. What? Hype station? PR agent. Hmm. Uh. <gasps> oh, I didn't know that I... Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Hey. Hey. That's right. funny. 
you doing some healthy nighttime jogging when suddenly a chariot pulled by aquatic horses, not seahorses, emerges from the nearby fountain. How does that even work? Anyway, the door from the chariot opens, and unsurprisingly, it turns out to be Miranda. Ah, sleepy. You seem like a trustworthy person. Well, you certainly like to think so. I need to let you in on a secret. I, and don't tell anyone this, I am a princess. No shit. I've been keeping it under undercover because I think I'm falling in love with a mere commoner, Octo. I've thrown some hints here and there. Like always, I'm wearing my crown or casually and subtly mentioning that I'm a princess every three or four minutes. <laughs> but soon it shall be time for the plot point in every good romance where my true identity is discovered. And she must accept me for the princess that I am. Now, this always turns out fine in the movies and the fairy tales, but alas, here in the real world, di dictated by logic and reason, she can't mean this one, right? <laughs> there are some very confused people who think that my kingdom's banging? Benign. Uh, benign? And helpful invasion of other kingdoms are unfair, and therefore are against the monarchy. Naturally, I'm anxious as to how, as to how someone like that might react when they finally learn my incredibly well-hidden secret that I'm a princess. But of Octo, how does she feel about the monarchy? The monarchy? She loves the monarchy! That's why she voted to never vote for class president again, instead to choose someone based on divine right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how would you hurt? Octo has a tattoo that says down with the bourgeoisie on her chest. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Octo, Octo fucking loves the monarchy. Like, holy shit. Yeah. She yes. never wants free will to vote ever again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Voting. So you can be her queen. Yes. To end voting? Why? That's one of the most brilliant subversions of peasant power I've ever heard. Octa's support of the monarchy shall not go unnoticed, nor unrewarded. Assuming you consider going to prom with, prom with me a reward for supporting the monarchy. Which, of course, it is. Huzzah! Huzzah indeed! A game three charm. Yo, I'm so fucking charming. So That's charming. Cool. Everyone chooses a TV show, say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, that 70s show. Doctor Who. Oh, God. <laughs> the player has decided based on how funny and wrong it would be if anthropologists from 500 years in the future had to guess how life was nowadays based solely on watching this TV show. Doctor Who would be funnier. It would be funny. That and like, show was literally about teenage life in the 70s, so, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they're like, whoa, what the fuck did they have? <laughs> like, what the, what the hell? Home booths did what? <laughs> I need more bold. We're so cute. We're so cute. Skip class and hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. While in the bathroom, you tell yourself in the mirror that you're so, you're so bold you would kill a tiny, big-eyed turtle with your bare hands. That monstrous act would instantly give you 500 boldness. But come on, you're just talking to yourself in the mirror. What's the merit in that? You know what? You keep two boldness anyway for saying that to yourself out loud. <laughs> Damn, look at you go. Look at me go. You're minding your own business when Miranda comes rushing up to you, clearly distraught. <gasps> Most terrible news, friend. I have just watched a documentary Game of Thrones, and I fear for my own royal family. I did not realize how susceptible we might be to random acts of treachery, or how often we romance our siblings. <sighs> I, didn't, I don't want to be <laughs> shot in the chest by a crossbow while sitting on a toilet. That doesn't sound proper at all. <laughs> well then, don't... That's a Game of Thrones spoiler, never mind. Okay. Please, help me put my poor mind at ease. How can I possibly identify potential traitors in my court? Just keep Just an eye out. fuck your fucking son's girlfriend. You'll be fine. <laughs> keep an eye out for the classic signs. Shifty eyes, hooded black cloaks, ordering knives in bulk. Pretty much everybody's a traitor. Traitor, just spin the bottle and whoever it points at, kill them. I mean. Yes, but then I would be saying I'm a traitor. <gasps> yes, so smart. But that would mean. <gasps> Could a Lord Darkheart Stabbington be a traitor? I must run farther <laughs> at once. Maybe, maybe a little bit. We have to find a new royal babysitter. <laughs> Fuck. Arose by another, <laughs> any other name, 
Which smell is sweet, unless the name is Darkheart Stabbington. You gain two smarts and one money as a reward. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh my fucking god, I want to be more fun. More fun? I want to be more fun. Oh my god, I'm dabbing. <laughs> <laughs> but then it realizes you start a half hour rave that goes full crazy. You're talking to Juan, the small magical Latino cat, and he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob the Scary Clown. Ah, oh, Juan! God damn it. Juan, what the fuck? If you accept the challenge, you go straight to Bob and stab him several times, opening his bleeding chest and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Really? Do you think that's how fun works as well? <laughs> it is. You gain two fun from poor Bob. <laughs> Good. Just suck out the fun. You're chilling out, not murdering anybody when Damien slinks up to you. Calling a large sack with words definitely not a corpse written on it. Hey, noob. Hey, um, you're not gonna like this, but there's definitely actually a corpse in this bag. You know, you never would have guessed. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm exactly responsible for making this corpse. At least, not without my lawyer present. <laughs> but, let's just say, he and I apparently had a very different definitions of rock, paper, scissors. Anyway, I'm not interested in going back to jail, so I need you to help me head this body real quick. It would be an extremely attractive thing to do. Oh, fuck. Luckily, hiding dead bodies is kind of your thing. You share your brilliant solution. Alright. Disguise him as a drinking fountain, and we'll know the difference. Mm -hmm. Check him in my garage. We'll perfectly a collection of vintage dead bodies. The first one's funnier. The first one? The first one's funnier. Let's do it. <gasps> metal. Aww. That's the most brilliant idea I've ever heard. But I'm not sure if I have enough creativity to actually pull off the disguise. Why don't you do it? Of course, no one's more creative. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Alright, you pull out your glitter glitter sequence of pipe cleaners and get to work. Oh no, I'm not creative enough. But he's not later about like, it looks exactly like what are you trying to make me can. Oh no. oh no. This corpse looks like shit. Oh, what is no. it supposed to be? A pile of neon garbage covered in unicorn jizz? Yes. Also, why did you feel the need to bedazzle the words this is a dead body across a dead body? Get, a Get away from my dead body before I make you glitter, glitter glue your own corpse. Oh Maybe no. You should stop oh no. Oh, oh no. That's okay. That's okay. It would have been funny if we actually pulled it off. Can you imagine? Yeah, right? Listen, I thought seven creativity would be enough to make a corpse look like a drinking fountain, okay? I, that's fair. Look, that's fair. Avocado toast. Avocado toast. Um, ice cream. Nowadays, they make flavor water because we guess people don't know how to spend their money anymore. Player orders decided based on how expensive you think a water flavor like the chosen food would be. Avocado toast. I think avocado toast would be more expensive. I mean, avocados are expensive as shit, yeah. so yeah, probably. <clears throat> Would it be good? Remains to be seen. <laughs> Alright. I All fucked right. up. I gotta go make it right with Damien. Make it right. Strange, you could just want Polly and Damien right at this table that you picked. Uh oh. Okay. Hey, noob. Psst. Hey, oh, loser. God. Down here. Hey, boo. Okay. <laughs> And so it's Polly and Damien hiding under this table for totally innocent reasons. <laughs> a ferocious roar sounds from the door of the cafeteria. Crazy Martin, the werebear janitor, is here and he's looking for someone. Uh oh. Shit, he's here. <laughs> Why is he after us anyway? I think what we did really falls more under federal jurisdiction. <laughs> <laughs> International law, more like. Those munchkins were Canadian citizens. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> now that you mentioned it, I think you might actually have uh, to face a war crime from the I fucking tried to Fuck. With it though, right? Oh, totally. As long as they can get away from the buzzkill the bear over there. Um. <laughs> Hide behind typical men Princess Hill, right? Yeah! <laughs> Not me. I'm not. I'm not even a princess of hell. Guess you should have thought about it before being born a commoner, huh? 
<laughs> I wasn't born, Damien. I was died. <laughs> <laughs> we'll die better next time. <laughs> I'll try to keep that in mind when I'm being tried at Fairy Tale Court for negligent munchkin side. Fuck. Great. Let me know how it goes. Kill a bunch of fucking Canadian kids. What the fuck? Dude. I'm off to crash an orphanage and get away with it because I'm royalty. Later. After the orphanage crushing, Damien takes you up for ice cream. Sweet, literally. <laughs> Let's go. Yay, I got ice cream. Oh, I have to sit with Liam. <laughs> you notice Liam looking disgruntled, which is he his default, so whatever. But it seems like Miranda's pretty upset too. Better check it out. <gasps> Liam, why are you typing on your phone so angrily? Did your phone offend you in some way? Why are you mad at it? You seem to be an 8.5 on the frowning Liam scale. What? The frowning Liam scale. Normally I can tell how people are feeling from their faces, but you seem to be frowning most of the time, so I created a chart to measure frowniness. <laughs> Miranda pulls out a notepad and displays a series of doodles of Liam's frowniness. They're not super accurate, but they are super adorable. I'm not angry at my phone. My so-called frowniness is caused by a heinous error. I specifically asked my creative creme... Creme... Excuse me? My, cr my creature, creature creme creature blue relay... Be extra crispy so it truly popped with my hashtag massacre moment gram filter. Instead, they burnt it to a crisp. That's Damien voice, rendering it unphotographable. <laughs> Monster. burnt and just went with it. Yeah. <laughs> he channeled his Damien at arson. <laughs> Monsters deserve to know what they're getting into if they choose to eat at this cafeteria so they can choose to make their take their business to a different establishment. And so I'm, and so I'm writing a scorching Welp review. Liam, you can't do that. If they shut the cafeteria down, the school kitchen staff will lose their jobs. Did you know that peasants have to do labor to make living wages? They don't simply have an unlimited store of gold. I was shocked when I first found out. Of course you were. <laughs> if the kitchen staff wanted to earn their wages, they should have been better at their jobs. I'm simply the merchant of truth. No, you're the merchant of poop. Okay, Brent. Your royal sophistication shines through. Look, ask Octo. Her taste may trend towards mainstream, but surely she can see this subpar cafeteria must be exposed. Don't be ridiculous. Octo is surely more compassionate than that and would gladly help me save the cafeteria. Again. Again? Gosh, hard to keep track of your misadventures at this shit show of a school. Still, you <laughs> can laugh if you can. <laughs> okay. We're going to... We need a army of hopeless people we pay to write positive Welp reviews of Cafeteria to Eclipse Liam's. Why, of course. This plan involves two of my most favorite strategies, gathering an army and outsourcing work to the disenfranchised. If it, in, if it involved torture and suppression of dis dissidents, it would, be, it would hit all my favorites, but there might be a time for that later. I don't even have a response to this. You go to the vast homeless population and wander into the woods near the school, don't ask, and convince them the cafeteria is a trendy new restaurant that sells food for the most valuable currency of all. Positive Welp reviews. Turns out people are pretty global when they're starving, so they flock to the cafeteria in droves and start writing spectacular reviews on their phones. Because now homeless people have phones of their own. Seems like they can they keep all the unwanted blackberries. Remember blackberries? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Miranda Vanderbilt. Miranda Vanderbilt! Says Principal Giant Spider, bursting into the cafeteria with egg legged pa panache. Stop bringing droves of homeless people into our cafeteria! But, Principal Giant Spider, it was absolutely vital to the vi vitality of the school. You said that last five times. You can't solve all your problems by manipulating homeless people. Notorious. Tell that to my city planners. Oh! Notorious PG uh, storms out, but Miranda looks perfectly chipper. Oh, he may pretend to be upset, but I think the subtext was pretty clear. Thank you, Miranda and Octo, for saving the entire school like the beautiful heroes you are. That's 100% a lie, but Miranda called you beautiful. Aw, it's a win. <laughs> Amazing. Everybody chooses an object, so your choice out loud throws the players for clicking. Cell phone! Bowl! Their order is decided based on how unsexy it would be to use the selected object as a sexual toy. Start debating now. Uh, 
Should we shuffle? <laughs> like, we're... <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Cool. Let's go. That's fair. Okay, I want, I need more boldness. Or, God, creativity or boldness with Miranda. I feel like boldness is more important. Yeah. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect North Doherty. On the way there, you- just you, never fucking go to class. <laughs> yeah. You run into Mamimi, the Oni girl. She offers you some of her, Jap her weird Japanese energy drink. You take a sip. It tastes crazy as hell. You need to check the contents of this shit. Guarana seed extract, benzoic, benzoic acid, 50 milligrams of caffeine, and 100 milligrams of boldness? Well, if that isn't bad at all, you gain two boldness, thank Mamimi, and proceed to the bathrooms. You run into Miranda accidentally. It's clumsy, yet kind of cute and romantic. For a second, you suspect she rehearsed it. Hi! It's so funny running into you here. So random. Anyway, I've been wondering. I got my weekly allowance today, but I can't come up with anything fun to do. It's not much, just a million, but perhaps we can come up with something. Okay, together? Something practical yet amusing. Purge of your political opponents. I'd like to look more at you. Let's hire peasants to sing your story. Oh, okay. <gasps> <laughs> it's hard to do with a million silly. Although we can purge on a dime. We'll just have to get creative. Jesus. Endless homeless spies. Bash dissidents with sticks. Ah, let's do it all night with daggers while they sleep. Your first date. And it's all ends at night. Way to go. You gain two boldness, one smarts. All right. Cool. All right. All right. Um, pretty bold and pretty fun. I want to be more charming. More charming. Which one's charm again? Charm is Jim. Oh my god, I'm so buff. <laughs> <laughs> that day an epic dodgeball match takes place. <laughs> Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirits. Leading to a spectacular comeback. You're clearly a natural-born leader. You gained two charm. Yay! Woo! You're daydream daydreaming about daydream how Damien would look walking down the aisle towards you. <laughs> 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 when you see Damien walking down the aisle hallway towards you. <laughs> Yo. So, listen. Don't be uncool about this or make it a big thing, but I think you're pretty rad. Like, maybe even as rad as I am. So, I think it might be sweet if we could, you know, do some crime together. Absolutely. Would you be into that? I mean, could you even fucking handle that? <laughs> um, yes, of course you could. And would. And should. <laughs> what kind of crime are you into these days? Quick, suggest the most badass romantic crime for an excellent date with Damien. Ah! <laughs> Tax fraud in my treason dinner movie. Only the dinner and arson in the movie is also arson, 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 arson. Arson and arson. Sounds like <laughs> my kind of night. Yeah! <laughs> Damien picks you up and presents you with a bouquet of matches and lighters, which you blush happily and accept. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the two of you head off to the fanciest restaurant you know, La Chateau du... <laughs> Demurely? Demurely, as Damien pulls out your chair for you, and then sets it on fire. Salad? <laughs> mm -hmm. You constantly order off the menu with bo for both of you before setting both menus on fire. After a delicious meal, the two of you flirtily squabble over whose absolute pleasure it would be to pick up the check as flames rage high all around you. Hmm? <laughs> Ready to head out for more arson? Heck yeah you are! The two of you head to a movie immediately setting your ticket stubs on fire. You take your seats and set the row in front of you on fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you, you talk through the previews as the flame leaps higher and higher, bathing you both in a romantic glow. It's the hottest date of all time. In so, so many ways. Hey, 
I had a really nice time tonight. The only thing better than arson was the more arson. <laughs> is he actually blushing? Or is that just the heat from so much arson? <laughs> oh my fucking god. This date was literal fire. But no, like actually literal fire. You gained plus two charm in one pull. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grinning so hard that my jaw hurts. I'm Holy so fuck. nervous. I wonder who. <laughs> I got Damien. Oh, y'all are cute. Oh my god, we look cute together. Wait, take. Wait, hold on. Okay, do it. Let's go. Let's I had to take go. a screenshot. <laughs> you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to the monster go to the monster prom with you. Yep. Ugh, my sister told me I get diseases if I dated commoners. Stuff like crabs or poverty. I must decline. Ugh, what? Excuse me. Your failure made you so despised by society that you were exiled to the wilds where you joined a pack of wolves. What the fuck? What? So, you were so bad at social interaction that you also failed at getting a date for wolf brawl. Alright. What? <laughs> I'm so confused. You finally pluck up your courage to ask your beloved to monster prom. Yes. Yes. Prom? I guess we can get so wasted that we end up burning stuff down, right? That sounds like a rad date to me. Rad. Let's burn stuff down together till dawn. Let's the world on fire, baby! Okay, guys! Uh... Y'all are so cute. Prom night was awesome! You and Damien reflect on the fucked up misadventures you had over the past few weeks. You've definitely been your worst self. <laughs> After some good laughs, you conclude, well, I'm definitely going to hell. Oh, that's great. He stayed silent for a bit after that, and then he added, You know what? I see no problem with that. Oh. No. Fuck. <laughs> Best night ever. Oh, my days. Most likely get an anal bleaching. And Damien quote, Wait, there's more school after this? What the fuck? <laughs> Valid. What? I wonder. I wonder why. Like, you yeah. literally did one thing wrong. Like, I, I don't know. Three weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of our lives. After the monster prom, we kept living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happens, and it was wonderful. Damon loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, prison oh, was no. flammable. <laughs> Yay! Miranda used her vast knowledge of serfs to get a job handpicking the best serfs for other people. Unsurprisingly, she ended up leaving her serfs to do the work. <laughs> I graduated from doing lots of, yeah, and now she appears to be hallucinating people and acts as their spirit animal. Oh. For those three weeks, Monster Prom seemed larger than life, and then it was gone, just like that. The battle for Monster Prom might have ended then, but there are plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we we're ready to start. I don't know what the fuck I did. Okay, we unlocked new images. Yay, images. Images. Oh my gosh. Oh, whoops. Hey. <laughs> there you are. And then I unlocked an image of being left. Oh no. Yeah, what the fuck? I don't know what I did. <gasps> that's super cute. Oh my cute. god, that's so cute! That is adorable. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm taking a screenshot. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> that's super cute. I can't need more down here. Okay. More art. Oh, there's like uh, mock ups and stuff. Cute. Huh. Ooh. You haven't seen that character. Then we have fan art. That's good fan art. 
It's Sam that is Curtis. Some good nice. All right. And then there's also mods for this game too. Of course there is. Like a straight up mod tool, but yes, that's neat. What'd you think in Sleepy? That was fun. It was fun. You wanna do something else? Um, that's what I'm wondering, but I'm wondering what. Uh, we could do some forest if you'd like. We could do Minecraft. We could do a lot of stuff. We yeah. want to. You haven't done forest in a fat minute. We have not. Yeah, let me exit that monster prom. All oh right. my gosh. Mm -hmm. I have to edit everything. Let me make sure I have the forest downloaded still. If not, we might have to take a brief intermission. You're good. Nope, I have it. Amazing. I should take my contacts out. It That's okay. Okay. Um, oh, I can stop. Oh, it automatically stopped sharing. Okay, cool. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. Oh, I need my mouse for this. be kind of hard to play a spooky game without a mouse. True. It's be a little difficult. All right. And I got a stream deck, which is why like I was like Okay. And da, 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 da. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I meant to go. <laughs> oh, hold on two seconds.
Alright, hi stream, sorry about that. That was wild for a second there. Alrighty, and sleepy is quickly just making more hot chocolate. Sorry about that, Garth. I am cold. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Oh, goodness me. It's Saturday, and like this next week is coming up, right? However, it feels like the beginning of a week, you know? But it also feels like the end of the year. <laughs> it's just been a time. It's been a time. But we're gonna have a good time. Here to some forest with Sleepy. Yeah, my gate. I did have to disconnect my stream deck because it was my mouse, my mic, or my stream deck that we didn't have. And I kind of need my mouse for a spooky game. So we'll get a, um, a USB thingy at some point so that we can have all of them at once. Being annoying with that. But, oh, shoot. Okay, so many cords everywhere. But yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, also. I have returned with hot chocolate. With hot chocolate. Amazing. Okay, there are quite a few sounds happening around me here. Where the... Where's my mouse? Ah, it is loading. I was going to transition, but then it's not letting me do so. Alright. Okay. There we go. Okay. So please transition. Cannibal bandits! Oh, are they surrounding us? Um, oh. no, nah, I just read your title. Oh, yes. Ow, my hot chocolate is too hot. Oh no. How do I get out? I don't remember. Okay. L for lighter. That is attack. Oh no. Oh, there we go. That's how I get out. Okay. Okay. Sorry, we're chopping down trees, but we're letting trees inside of our base grow. Mm hmm Okay. Eh. 
Okay. And then do we have any... water in our like little rain thingy i don't know where the fuck yes is. we have the two turtle shells okay perfect amazing okay and you said that we were chopping down the trees in here but we're also letting them grow letting the trees inside of like the fence area that we're making uh grow so coming up to the forest here and cutting down trees to make this fence i think that's what we were doing mm -hmm. okay bum, bum, bum. I'm trying to remember the controls. <laughs> You're good. I'm just clicking the clickers in over here. It's been a fat minute. Okay. I guess I can only carry two logs. Pig just scared the shit out of me. <laughs> yeah, that pig's been running around. Goodness. We have so many logs to collect. <laughs> I know. Oh no. Oh, okay, we're good. Fucking hog. bandit. I see them. I would say let's finish this wall as fast as we can, but there are it might be um it might take a little bit. <laughs> boy he's running this way the oh oh, oh. Ah! 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 <laughs> oh you don't give a shit you're like fuck this guy yeah now fuck him yeah run away Am I on fire? Oh, fuck. 
Okay. Okay, and uh, da, 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 da. I killed it. Oh, yay! Good job. Do you like the fire? Yeah. Where? This, oh, never okay. mind, I got it. It's right here. Oh, okay. There we go. Cool. Just had to burn a corpse. It's fine. It's fine. We're doing great. Yeah! Go us! I just like take my log sleigh up into the forest and then I come back with like 10. It's awesome. Amazing! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> you almost like... killed me with a tree! I'm sorry. I was trying to think of a tree pun, but I couldn't. I have to catch my breath, okay. Apparently chopping trees is hard work. Who would have guessed? Not me. Oh my gosh, why is this not... Okay, there we go. Excuse me. There we go. Oh, okay. That was a little whack for a second. <laughs> okay, can I put anything else? Isn't there like a thing? Like, aren't we supposed to be finding our child or something? Yeah. I'm sure we'll find our kid at some point. Yeah, <laughs> no, fuck that. There are cannibal bandits out here. I'm building a house. <laughs> yeah, like, how. How are we supposed to. Oh my gosh, dude. The other parent would be so fucking pissed. They'd be like, what? What? What do you mean? Our, it's our son. Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm kind of just like, how am I supposed to take care of my son if I do not have a home to take care of him in? No, Cause... literally. Like, how long is it going to take for somebody to, like, to come and grab us, you know? It's going to take a while. Oops. Yeah, what was our son's name? I don't know. Yeah, fair. It's fine, I'm sure that's not important. Nah, not at all. Yeah, I, 
found that. Found snow. Oh. I was gonna say, um, who's to say we even gave him a name when he was born, you know? True. Maybe he's just, hey, kid. Hey, Arnold. Hey, Arnold. Only need 327 more logs. Only need 327 more. No big deal. Thank goodness that, like, we have it so that the trees grow back, because otherwise this would be, like, a pain in the ass. So true, bestie. Yeah, these are gonna be big booms, dude. Cause like, these are like, thick trees. Okay, and then where's my little cart? There's my cart. Tell everybody I'm on my way. I've got a sleigh full of wood. Yeah, boom, 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 boom. Well, there's a stump in my way. I'm like, why can't I move? Mm -hmm. You were stumped. <laughs> Oh, I can't put any more on here. It's annoying, but also nice when I can't fit any more on there, because it lets me know that I've gotten a lot, but it also is like, I need to put more on here. This hog just attacked me. You have a gate now. Which is cool, but I don't know how to close it. I got us another rock holder because I had too many rocks. Nice. This hog needs to leave me alone. Kill it. It keeps running away. I don't want to waste my stamina on it. <laughs> There's a boy. Oh. Oh God. No oh, fuck. There's two boys. Oh fuck. 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 The titty lady ran at me. Oh God. Okay. It's raining. So I have to defeat the other guy first. The one with the fire. 
because he will get too angry if I get titty lady first. Am I on fire? It's raining. Oh, okay. I keep titty lady distracted. Just okay. kidding, she's coming for you. God damn it. Okay. I'm combining shit again. Wait, this is like the perfect little spot. <laughs> oh, excuse you. Like if we if we run them in between this building and this wall because we don't have um destroy buildings on um mm -hmm. we just attack them anyway yeah it's corpse time corpse time yeah 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 it's always yeah. corpse time yeah actually I would like to eat her there. I'm just gonna Snake. go ahead and dump him there. Oh, that's you. Okay. Snake. Oh, that's not him. Yeah. Arm. 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 Alright. Torso time. There we go. It's torso time! It's torso time! I can't carry any more legs. That's homophobic. That is homophobic. Oh. <laughs> oh that sound scared me. I was terrified. Oh! Sorry. I can't carry any more legs. Oh, I didn't mean to. Cooking some some bodies. Nice. I wanted to dry them, but it won't let me put any more on the drying rack. Hello, bird. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Spoiled. Oh no. I thought it wouldn't spoil if you dried it. Yeah, I thought that too. Apparently Dried not. Meat. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, okay, okay. Meat is ready. You can eat it. Oh yes, I had some already. Thank you very much. Okay. Can't carry any more skulls. Is there a skull holder? Can I make a skull holder? Yeah. I want to make a weapons rack as well. Skin rack, bone basket. Excuse me. It's fucking hog, dude. Okay, it is getting dark. I cannot see. Ah, 
I don't quite- I don't quite have a second bed yet. No, you're good. I need to murder three more rabbits and then we can have a bedroom together. You're good, you're good. Do you want to sleep through night? Yeah, sure. How do I... I cannot see. Oh, I'm freezing to death. Hold on, let me... Nice and roasty toasty in here. Roasty toasty. Yeah, it's like sleeping. It doesn't. It doesn't let me sleep in my bed. Oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. There should be a bed in that little cabin, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Um, cool. Another day, more trees have grown back. Cold and wet, it says. Um, there's a standing fire inside. Cool. It'll warm you up. I'm trying to collect tree, like tree stuff, and then it's telling me, "Um, you're cold and wet." I'm like, "Hmm." Why though? You insist. I mean. <laughs> I almost have your bed ready. Amazing. How do I equip an arm? Here. I don't want to stay in here until it's done raining. That's ridiculousness. Well, just until like... Just until like your your screen isn't frozen anymore. Mm, mm hmm Yeah. Oh. I locked the door, I got scared. Oh that's right. I didn't mean to do that. Holy shit. Hmm. That's a mutant. Oh. I'm going inside. <laughs> One hundred percent fuck that. Oh my It chopped down a tree for us. God. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Where did it go? Over here. Hey, blue boy. Wait, lure it between the wall and the shed over here. Okay. Fuck you. Over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. If you can get it 
to run in between here, it's a lot mm -hmm. easier to kill them. Okay. Come here, big boy! Ah! Will, it, will it even fit? That's a great question. Holy shit. Don't let it hit ya. <laughs> Where'd it go? I see. Let in, please. Jump. Come in. Okay. I am on my last uh, grippy here. Are you able to res me? I don't know if you no. need anything. No? Okay, if I make a run for it, okay. I get it to come over here. Build a shelter to save your game. Fuck you, man. Okay. Okay, it's fucking galloping towards me, so if I run all the way around. Well, there's more meds and soda now, at least. Oh god, I'm out of stamina. This is the worst day of my life. Ugh. Okay, where are you? Am I able to res you, or did you respawn? Um, you respawn? I respawned, however, it's a okay. good thing. Because we get more stuff. Yeah, we're completely out of meds. Yeah, we. So if you can grab all the meds and soda, you can. Yeah, we have meds and soda. Okay, where is the house? It's over there. And then I'm just gonna do my best to avoid everything and everyone. Probably for the best. Because I don't have any of my stuff. Damn, that thing fucked that tree up. Yeah, it was like one hit. Okay, well, I think it left. So that's cool. Yeah, hopefully it didn't sense that I spawned somewhere else. But I highly doubt it. And if only I had the card over here. One of my dogs barked and it scared me. <laughs> scared me too, for the record. <laughs> okay. I was doing pretty good for a while, and then I let it hit me once, and I was like, Fuck. I just need one more rabbit hide for your bed to be finished. Nice. God, it's still over there. What the fuck? I'm hoping by over there you mean area, but not the area that I'm coming from. No, it's still in our base. Oh, okay. I wonder if I lead it. Maybe I can lead it to the deadfall trap. Probably. 
if you're like super careful. Well, obviously, but. Come here, big boy. Okay. Yes! You did? Absolutely. Hell yeah. I need a stick. Okay, so that deadfall trap was so worth the money. Oh, good, good, good. The resources, whatever. Yeah, the same difference. Okay. I... Fuck. I have to now swim across. Now there's a across. bunch of boys at her face. Oh no. I don't have time for boys. Come I... here. Okay, I'm saying fuck it and just swimming. Oh, it's because there's a bunch of corpses. Okay. I didn't have time to fucking just get rid of the corpses before the, the boys showed up. Ah! Fuck! Oop. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm like one hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, oh come no. on. Get inside! Okay, I'm inside. Holy shit. Whew. Maybe, maybe, maybe they'll like get bored. Yeah, I'm closer to base now. <gasps> New animal discovered. What do you Hi, find? Hi, boy. Boys! <gasps> so many boys. So many boys. So many. Yeah, just run. Just run. Just run. Well, there are a bunch of boys outside our base. And I'm assuming yep. you're trapped by boys. I'm inside. Fuck. Okay. I had a bunch of meds. And I was trying to- I drank the booze instead of the meds. That's hilarious. Yep. So now I don't have anything, period. Um, because my weapon's over there, too. I have cloth, and that's it. I'm like two hits from death, otherwise I'd go out and kill these guys. No, you're good. Yeah, I was I... still injured from that fucking, uh... From that amalgam that fucking came at us. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I have batteries. <laughs> I'm, like, starving to death, though. Duct tape. Oh. I'm just getting liquored up real quick. Mm-hmm. Because I had some booze in my inventory that I forgot about. Nice. And, um, so that'll heal me up a little bit. That's good. However. However. There do be a lot of boys. There's a lot. There's, um, four outside the camp. Yeah. Maybe they'll get bored eventually, but it's like... 
you know? Yeah. I can try... Thing is, I'm, like, super low on hunger. And because I ate all the food that was over there. Because I was super low on hunger. And I didn't get the ch food a chance to, like, respawn. But... So, I don't have any food or anything like that. So, I'm not going to survive. And I barely have any health, so I'm not going to survive anyway. So, uh, and I also don't have very much stamina. And so, I'm going to see if I can hopefully get over there and lure some of the boys away. Just, like, a little bit. Because I'm going to die anyway. I've almost got one dead. I just ran out of stamina because I'm drunk. Yep. Okay, I drank a soda. He hit me through the door. That's homophobic. Yes, it is. God damn it, I died. Oh no. Oh, there's a lot of boys in this path. That's okay. That's okay. I put all my soda on the shelf. So we got lots of soda. Mm -hmm. and I'll make my way over to you. Well, good news, we have batteries and duct tape. <laughs> Hell yeah. And I have a rock. Fuck yeah. So, the way that I'm going, there are boys. I have a plan. Okay. I'm making my way back over you. Did food respond to for you at all? Did food respond for you? Respawn, I mean? Yeah, it did. Okay, good. I was like, respond? What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not talking to the food. <laughs> Sorry. So when we get our base back, um, my plan... Oh, there's a deer. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna kill you. I need you to not run away. God damn it. Oh, that's a bum. Um, so my plan... Mm -hmm. is to um, make more deadfall traps because they fucking one-tap things. Yeah. And that way, um, if we have this happen again, we can just run them into the deadfall traps. Good plan. And just try to always have a stick on you because it just takes one stick to reset them. Mm-hmm. That's what I was trying to do when I died. Yeah. Oh, I see you. I need to find water. I'm covered in blood. Oh, yeah. So do I. I'm like... Deer. There is like a crouch. I gotta sneak up on it because I want to kill it. Oh, whoops. Bruh. So I thought there was a rabbit. Yeah, 
whatever. Okay. <laughs> I want to loop around kind of the long way. Yeah. Partially because I know there's a bunch of boys in the way. Mm hmm. And partially because I want to see what's over here as well. If I can find a pot, it's fucking game over for these bitches. So I can make soup. Heck yeah. Good soup. Good, Good soup. soup. Okay. Okay. Holy shit, the boat! There's gonna be some good loot on this motherfucker. Oh god, I hope so. I hope there are no water predators, because this is terrifying. Not that I know of. Yacht Summer Edition. <laughs> Milk carton with a missing kid, bunch of money. Money, money, money. Booze. Booze. Chocolate bars. Photographs. Nice. Tape. Air canisters. Bunch of snacks. There's a bed in here we can sleep on. <laughs> Okay, the loot actually isn't that good on here. Holy shit. Can we sleep together? It's a great question. Oh, we can't sleep yet. Feels fine. It's like nighttime. Oh. I'm almost scared. There we go. Now we can. Can we? Or is only can one? We cuddle? Can we cuddle? No. <gasps> yes! <gasps> Yay! Cuddles! Oh my goodness. If only okay. we could, like, drive this boat back. And then we can just eat a snack, drink soda, call it a day. Yes. No, literally, like, let's, let's just take the yacht. There's a shark over here. Oh, that's fun. Did you I gonna... wanna see if I can take anything. I wanna see if I can take anything from it. I mean, they're dead on How the beach. How do I break right? this? Hit it. Actually, or is it like a combination? Can you like? I don't know. Oh, there you go. No, it's just trophies. Okay. Oh, there's so many meds. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Meds yeah, I got a bunch of meds and uh, sodas over there. Oh, but it just ah. didn't. You scared me. Boo. This did not go over well. Oh. I don't think we can get the shark. No, we can't do anything to the shark except for take its head as a trophy, which is too bad. Uh. Oh, whoops. Oh, we have a ball. I can't take any more meds. Take this med. Okay. Where? Ball. 
fall. <laughs> Where's the med? Yeah. It's one med. <laughs> oh, I opened that one. I wanted the ball in it. Did you not grab the axe from the plane? No, um, I did, but it didn't. Um, it must have been like, oh, you died too soon, so I don't get an axe. Is there not an axe in your inventory? Nope. Uh, because I had died already. Um, again. Okay. Yeah, so. That's inconvenient. Yeah. Um, honestly, I would get to the base, drop everything off, and then die again so you get an axe. <laughs> well, it's in the other inventory, and that inventory is on the way to the base. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if we can climb up this way. Homophobic. Yeah. Okay. What is that? Ooh, shipwreck. Cannonball. The seas are restless. was a ship that this put to sea the name of the ship with the a bully of tea <laughs> goodness me are you so much faster than me i'm holding shift <laughs> Boom, 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 boom. It is a lot farther away than I thought it was. <laughs> yeah. It didn't look that far away when we saw it. Turtle. So, this may have been for nothing. Oh my god. That's depressing. Yeah, I'm trying to see if there's, like, anything useful, but I'm not seeing much. I'm not seeing anything. Turtle! Turtle! Hmm. We want an experience. Yes. What's this? I can take that. What is it? I collected an oyster. Yo! Okay, well, we got some oysters. I don't know if that does anything, but... Probably eat them. Nom nom nom. Alright, whatever. I'm going home now. Okay. <laughs> Maybe they got bored by now. Maybe. Oh, 
That's a little freaky. New items able to craft. Oh, there's more. Interesting. The gasps for breath. <gasps> what the fuck is happening? Oh, oh my god, there's a shark. Oh my god! Be careful! Uh, hey, buddy! I will let you know that nothing has respawned. Oh, you died. Oh, you yeah, died. Yeah, it was immediate. Like, I didn't even see it. Yeah. I have nothing. Well, that was fucking horrifying. Are you dead dead? Or not? Nah? No, but the shark fucking chased me all the way to land. That is... Well, that's fucking... good to know. You spend enough time in the open fucking ocean, there's a goddamn shark. Yeah, that was... It Honestly, you it know? Was... That's fair. Yeah, it was no warning. It was just, I was like, what the fuck's happening? Like, my screen was, like, things were going gray, and then I was, like, thrashing. I was like, what the fuck's happening? What? Yeah, you made sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not retrieving my stuff in the ocean. <laughs> nah, fuck the ocean. No, not worth it. Make sure when you come back, you do come along the beach, though, because there are boys fucking everywhere in the main area. Okay. Hell yeah, I got a rope. Nice. What is that? Cargo box. I don't know what to do with circuit boards, but I got a bunch of them now. Nice. Ooh! I found suitcases! Underwater! But it's not really help because they're underwater. It is not really a help. I'm gonna murder this turtle. There's like a bunch of them too that I had saw. Nothing besides circuit boards. No. Ouch. I can't, I can't carry any more circuit boards.
God damn, there are just boys everywhere. Yeah. All right, cool. So I gotta watch for sharks. Yep. I gotta watch for boys. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I just skirt around these guys. You may be headed straight for a group of four of them. I'm not sure if they ran that way. They were on the beach, but they okay. ran. So just keep an eye out for them. Um, usually if they don't see you, like you can go around them. Mm-hmm. Doesn't help that I'm heavily breathing. You are dying. Eat a snack. I am. I don't have any. I'm like looking for the, like there happens to be no berries around. That's hilarious. Right? Oh. So we have flares. There's a shit ton of suitcases over here. Yeah, I just got like six flares. <gasps> I found a pot! Yes! That deer scared me. I found arrows. Okay, cool. No. cool. Now you definitely can't die because I need all of that stuff. And I will be so sad if you die and it doesn't respawn. <laughs> Just die somewhere ridiculous and we can't get to it. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'm almost home. Low energy. Eat something or get rest. I would love to. Is there are tents near you. You can probably sleep in a tent or rest in a tent. I want to open all these. Okay, these are all very useful. Because there are arrows and flares, and I don't know who let arrows on at flight, but... Yeah, unfortunately, none of these tents I can sleep in. And then literally all of these have... <laughs> there are boys. Boys, 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 boys. I have nothing. Your scream scared me. Sorry. I have nothing. I don't have food. I am... I'm sprinting. You're fucking kidding me right now. Can they hop in the water? Yes, they can. I'm doing my best. They're watching me from afar. Oh my fucking god. Sorry, I did not mean to scream out loud. It's okay. There's, um...
They're trying to come after me, but they are not sure about the water. But they're watching me. There are two mutants at our base. Huh. <sighs> so just be aware of that when you come over the hill. Um... They sound horrifying. They're heading towards the beach. I wonder if I can quickly... Because I reset the deadfall. Traps. Okay, they circled back around. Okay, I better get inside actually. So. Okay. Traps and defense. I'm on the other side of the beach. Currently. Do you think I should go from the beach? No, 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 hold on. Okay, I just need three logs. Okay, they're in the base. But they're far off to the side. There's a log here, a log here, okay, okay, okay. You can probably sneak over if you come straight on, because they're in- they're by the big bonfire part of our base right now, but they are circling around. Okay. I'm there are setting up boys another... running. They didn't see me. But I gotta be like ultra careful because I like have nothing. Okay. 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 We got two dead poles now. So I could, in theory, kill these guys. Get my backpack. Okay. Yeah, come, 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 come. Okay. I'm going the fastest I possibly can. I'm coming from the beach. Yeah, I see you. There were there was a boy running, and so I decided to just go through the ocean. Oh, there are boys running on the beach. Yeah, I see him. Buck. I don't know if they see I'm me. I'm coming to you. I'm not sure if they see me or not. It is so dark. It is super dark. Do you see me? Yeah, I see your name. I'm in the water currently, still. Because I'm like, I can... I can hear them? Yeah, they're, they're to my, um, they're to my, uh, left. Last I saw. Okay. Okay, okay, 
Okay, okay, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Can you take this? Um. Wait, there's nothing on there. Yeah. I'm an idiot. Um, no worries. Combine. Take, 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 quick. Get in the water. Ugh. Fuck. Okay. So that was fun. Yep. They can go in shallow water, but they don't like to go in the ocean. Mm-hmm. Okay, I, I gave you a soda quickly. If you yeah. can get over here where I am, you can drink it. And I'll give you a little, a little bit. Yeah. Um, I can give you... Here's a snack. Thank you. Okay. Now that you're not in die or dying. Come with me. Where's your corpse? I can't see it on my map. Um, it's, uh, over to the right. Okay, come towards it. I'm coming with you. So we should be okay-ish. Will me holding a lighter help me with my cold? Maybe. Okay, Makes I got it. It's more visible, though. You got your stuff? Yeah. Alright, come with me. Okay, this is where it gets a little sketchy. Oh, let me... I don't know why. Take a med really quick. I don't know where those two went. Mm hmm. I don't hear them though. Ooh, something set my deadfall off. Oh. I think it's. That I heard it galloping. Okay. Yeah. Okay, get inside. We can get rid of the coal. Mm hmm. I'm gonna. Fuck. How inside? Just walk. <laughs> I can't see. Turn your lighter on then. Hello? Door. Door. Okay. Okay. So that'll take care of that. I finished your bed. Amazing. <sighs> Fuck. Thank you. Alright, I think we should sleep, honestly.
I agree. In our new beds. In our new beds. Uh, let's save really quick, too. <laughs> Just because I am concerned. Okay. Cool. And we have a couple of meds over here too now. Mm -hmm. Um, well, we have a couple more meds. We also have some batteries, and then we have some flares and arrows, too. And then we have uh, two fuel cans and a pot. Can I drop this? No. I'm gonna cook some food. Mm -hmm. So what's great about a pot is you can fill it with water and you can fill that water with uh, like leaves and flowers and stuff that you mm -hmm. find that makes it into like a soup. Oh nice. Eat. Okay. Eat, eat, eat. Nom, nom, nom. Um, 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 um. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Yum 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 flesh. yum yum. Oh goodness. Okay. Hello, bird. This tree is fucking inconvenient. Yeah. Can we chop down the trees that we have in the base? Only the inconvenient ones. Mm-hmm. Try not to kill my rabbits. Got a feather. Oh shit. Awesome. Okay. So now that things aren't horrible. <laughs> things are not horrible. Okay. That was intense for a bit there. Hello rabbits. Um, where is the garden thing? Where did I put that? It's over here. Because we can grow more. I planted, a bunch of, I planted a bunch of aloe. Oh, whoopsies. You just killed the blueberry tree! No! I have one to replace yeah, it. Me Sorry. Me too. Okay. You're a monster. I'm sorry. These are not good bushes. Get rid of them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Facing the problem of I don't want to go too far outside my base because I'm terrified, and also we need to finish building the thing because <laughs> I heard no noise. So they tipped over. This, which had all my logs in it. Ah, uh, I hear gargly noises. Just so you know. Gargly noises. Yeah. Like, like the boys. Gargly noises. Scary, like, uh, fucking mutant or, like, regular boys? Um, I couldn't tell. I just knew there were boys. New animal discovered. What did we discover? Um. Oh god. I was like, where'd my logs go? <laughs> cool. 
Oh. Okay. Well. Goodness me. I thought there'd be more logs. Did they fall somewhere else? They might have. Okay. Fuck. Where the fuck are you? Fucking... Can you shut up? Oh, give me a chance to hit it. And I'm like... Missing. Oh, there they are. Okay, yeah, get inside. Get inside now. Inside. Are you good? I'm just looking at stuff. Mm -hmm. Why did you make a gate? Um, I don't know. I don't- yeah, I have no remember- I have no- what? I have no memory of doing that. Like in, you don't have to stay inside the house. Oh, they were. Ju I just meant inside the walls because there there was two big boys out there. Oh, I see. Got it. Oh, it's just you. Okay. I was like, what's running? Is this? The sooner we get this fucking wall done, this is the fucking better. Holy no, shit. literally. Right now, I'm doing like a an ex an explosives thing because I have many flares, and I just want to like make sure Blow that us all up. yeah, you get it.
Oh. Well, we got mm. fucking sticks. <laughs> I picked a tree that was too skinny. It's fine, we can always use sticks. Yeah. Oh, come on. Ow! Sorry! And I am s snagging one, just stealing one. Oh. I guess we didn't. Huh. Hmm. I'm like trying to figure out a way to have it so that we can hold the, uh, whatchamacallit? That does not help. Uh, the, um, flares. Oh! Arrow basket would be useful, because we have a shit ton of arrows. We just need a thing to shoot it with, and then we're set. fucking bore. Why are you bloody? What happened to you? Um, maybe I did hit it once. Because I was trying really hard to. Hey, I killed it. Amazing. Yeah, the boars are annoying. New animal, what did I do? Okay. I need two more sticks. Ah. Oh my gosh, you scared me. You good? It is pretty spooky. Okay. So, uh, we now have a bunch of arrows. I don't know how I would put...
Hmm. That was... I accidentally opened my walkie talkie. Oh. I was really confused. Jesus. Bird. Okay. Only 267 more to go. <laughs> Woo! Woohoo! This one, like, freaking went through the mountain. All right. Oh. <laughs> Hi, sled. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that went through like everything. one won't fit on there so I'm just gonna yeah it only fits 12 and like I went to pick up a log and you like picked it up I was like bro I look like you right now <laughs> nice Oh, found another log that no clipped. Oh, I figured out how to make gates. Nice. So I'm going to put a gate here. Fantastic. Nom nom nom. Nom nom. All right. Oh, okay. Hey. You need an explosive bench. Yes, I did. By our kitchen table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear laughter. What's so fucking funny? Oh, because the mutants are out there. Okay. Let's see him. Shoot. 
Should we head inside? Now they're on the distance. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's... I am gonna remove this tree since it's right next to a gate. I feel like it's inconvenient. What I'm gonna do is this is a little bit weird, mm -hmm. but um, I'm gonna go cut a form. I hear running. Bed. Yeah. Okay, everyone remember to lock your doors. Oh. Can't you? Good timing. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. We're inside. Yeah, it's totally fine. Good timing, though. Mm. Jesus. On that far side, mm -hmm. where there's a gap in between, um... Like where we're facing now? Yeah, like, you know there's like a gap in between the walls? I'm gonna put like a regular door there, so we can just run through it really quickly, because the gates take a minute to close. Yeah. Okay, true, 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 true. And they can't seem to get through the doors anyway, so I'm not too yeah. about it. And plus we can just hit like the good old lock. They don't understand doors. It's kind of weird that there's a lock, considering they don't know how to get indoors. Yeah, maybe they get smarter over time. I don't want to think about that. Yeah, I wouldn't want to think about it either. Somebody's, somebody's breathing. Shh. I'm not too worried about it, honestly. They, they just... don't know we're in here. Nah, yeah, no. They're just having just a party. Fire because I was cold, and that's probably what attracted them. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Your light. There was a light that came out in front of you. Like a, like a, like a light, like actual light, like a flashlight. Mm -hmm. I think one of them has. Oh, yep. If you look out, you can't really see it, but if. Oh wait, just kidding. Just in case. <laughs> yeah, there was like... It's like one of them has light on their head or something. Not uh, good. Can we sleep yet? No way. Mm. Jesus! I'm really glad we turned that one thing off. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, this is a good time. Good old time. Hey! Wonder. Hang up. Hmm. Yeah, and I think this upcoming morning. Ah! Uh, I'll be ready to call it. Stretch for the day. Been live for a fat minute. Lame. I really don't like how when I crouch, it says that they can kind of see me. Oh 
Like, no thanks. Don't yeah, do that's messed that. up. Yeah, it is messed up. I'm like, I'm, I'm inside. What do you want me to do? Hmm. I don't know if I saw it there or not. Ah, da, 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 da. Yeah, I think when I'm at a light on their head, which would be useful, but that would be like a lot of work, I feel. Depending on how many is in there. Because when you had died, you were on like the 10th night, something like that? I don't know. Find Timmy, set up defenses, find a way to stay underwater longer, find a way into sinkhole. Oh my gosh, I almost slid off my chair. Find Mrs. Passengers. Stats. Feeling good. Survived one day. <laughs> Maybe, like, although it doesn't seem to reset the mutants because we still have mutants. Oh, oh sleep go. time. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Okay. Save. Yes. Okay. Cool. I'll make sure there's like nothing out here. I don't want to like come back and then there be like chaos. Well, there will be, don't worry. Oh, yeah. Num, 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 num. Okay, yeah. Slurp, slurp, slurp. Hi, bunnies. Why haven't you done anything? Kind of rude. Right? I can burn money. <laughs> I like your eyebrows. Thank you. I like your bald head. Mwah. We're the same person. We like I don't know. <laughs> oh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of weird. We're twins that had a son together. Don't worry about it. It's We're fine. Clones. We're clones. Yes. Oh, you're bloody. It was just in a fight to the death. Fair. Stump. Alrighty. Are you trying to leave me? Oh, look at that head. It's not cooking. I'm upset. So no head? Here, I'll burn money for you. <laughs> Burning money. I just want to eat it. Well, maybe I'll just keep the fire warm. Weird. Maybe it glitched out. Maybe. Possible. Happens with games. Oh, there's another forest coming. Soon. Uh, I don't what? know when. Another forest game? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know when it's coming, but... At some point. Now we have three rabbits. Three rabbits! <laughs> Amazing. Now kiss. Mwah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to move my hand away from my mouse pad because I will accidentally hit them. I know myself. Alright. Yeah, the head 
Okay. All right. All right. All right. Thank you, Sleepy, for streaming with me. It was fun. It was super fun. All right. Thanks, folks, for being here. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Is that good? Good for what? I'm confused. You just said, so we're good? And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> oh, like, we're ready. <laughs> End stream. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why you're asking me. It's your stream. <laughs> I don't know, man. Alrighty. Okay, folks, stay kind, stay hydrated, get some rest if you need it. Bye!